Hi everyone, welcome back to the Hollywood Actors Guide to Surviving the Film and Television Industry. This is your host, Jennifer Lynn Warren. I have been absent for a minute, but it's been a very busy start of the year, and I am not going to apologize for putting my acting career first, nor should you ever apologize for that either. I got an email on January 19th from an actor, and I'm not going to say the, the name of the actor because I don't want to embarrass them. That is not what this is about. But I thought it would be a great example of how not to reach out to somebody. So the email goes like this. It says, good evening. Well, first of all, the subject line is, how is 2022 treating you so far? My gut reaction to that was either A, it was spam, because that sounds like how you uh, a spam or would start uh, a subject line for an email these days. And two, uh, sorry, Mr. Actor that I've never met. It's none of your business. We are not friends. We don't know each other. Who are you and how dare you ask me that? It's really, and listen, this is just my personal gut check on these things came off very negative because a subject line should tell me who you are and what do you want because you're trying to create a professional relationship. So who are you? What do you want? Because my time is valuable and very limited. Good evening. My name is, let's just call him John Doe. And I wanted to introduce myself. Of course you want to introduce yourself because I have all the power. I can help you and you can't help me. So far, not a great email. I am a stunt performer, actor, and filmmaker based in Los Angeles, California. I would love to be considered for any future roles you are casting they, I may be suitable for. Exclamation point. If you are open to it, I'd love the chance to introduce myself properly via coffee, Zoom, or phone call if you have 15 minutes. Thank you for taking the time to read my email. I hope you have a great day and an even better 2022. Cheers. Okie dokies. All right, John Doe, let's talk about why your email did not work and also makes me possibly never want to have you on my set. And I know that probably just really stung your your heart and you're, you're going, oh, darn. Like I, Now, listen, I'm more forgiving than most people because I understand what it's like to try to get your hustle on as an actor and even stunt person. But what this email never does is really tell me how I can make money off you. Because honestly, there are billions, it feels like, actors in this town. What makes you special? There is absolutely nothing in this email that makes you special. And I'm sorry, but it's true. Even if this was uh, an introduction letter to an agent I have a great podcast on how to write letters to agents, and this is not how you do it. You are making yourself like every other needy, oh God, please give me some sort of attention actor in this town. No, I am not open to coffee or Zooms or phone calls. I barely, as somebody who hustles in this industry myself, I barely have time for coffee, Zoom calls or phone calls with my own family members, let alone my boyfriend sometimes, or even my closest friends. So no one in this industry that doesn't know you has 15 minutes for you. You, my dear friend, John Doe, are wasting your time with these emails. And so this is not a podcast to come on here and tell you that you're a horrible person. You're not a horrible person. You're just trying some things. And I'm not going to fault you for that. However, what I am going to fault you for and anybody doing this is you're wasting your time. And time is so precious and valuable. The minutes and seconds are clicking away in our lives. You need to spend your time on things that are actually going to be impactful for your career. Now, I see that there are some links down below on this email. I've got no links to any sort of reels or or IMDB, and I'm not going to take the time to, to hunt you down. So as far as I know, you have zero credits and, you know, you've got like some, what, like links to some of your stunt work. And whenever you click on them, it says, sorry, we could not find that page. So that's really delightful. Um, so if you send links, make sure they work. This is the type of emails you should be sending out. 
you should be sending out hot emails. What does that mean? That means if you have a relationship with somebody, that is when you send an email. That's when you send an email. There are several actors that listen to this podcast that I've got really close relationships to with now, not because they send me these dry, pointless emails, but because they have sent me very specific emails, either asking a question about something on the podcast, asking a question for the podcast. That is how you start a warm relationship. I can only guess that this actor reached out to me because I have a podcast and because I have said on the podcast that I am directing and I am producing and I've got things in the pipeline. So they thought maybe, you know, if they just send me an email, they're somehow going to get into the mix. Not at all. Nope zero. Instead, you got your own podcast episode dedicated to you. So this is what you do do. With this time that you're spending on your computer, you should either be in an acting class or you should be taking um, like going to summits like Risa Brayman has. You need to be out there and actually meeting people face to face. These cold emails are so like 1980s when the internet was first invented then it worked kind of bs marketing type thing this just smells like old school like 1980s marketing and this is no no place in the film industry now if you saw that i was directing and producing a film that's shooting in new mexico that is, uh, si- um, well, let me make this very specific to our John Doe, that needs some motorcycle high wire work. That is when you reach out to me. Like, hey, listen, I see you're doing this film. You need someone that does motorcycle higher wire work. I happen to be an expert in that. Here is my video. Here's my contact information. Please feel free to send it on to your stunt coordinator. And then I'd be like, oh, well, thank you for trying to provide me with some value. When you reach out to somebody, you have to be able to provide them with value. Believe me, there are people that I would love to work for or work with in this industry. And I am not going to email them till I'm in the position where one day I can offer them a directing position or I can offer them a leading role with uh, with the pay that they deserve in a film that I'm directing. Before then, you're wasting your time. I would be wasting my time. You would be better spent getting to know student filmmakers and emailing them about how much you like their work than you would be sending out these cold, cold emails. And so with all the love in the world, just please don't waste your time annoying people because I can only imagine that this guy's doing this to casting directors, producers, and directors, and he's getting, anytime that person's now going to see their name, if they have, if they somehow even remember getting the email, they might just say no, because this, if somebody's willing to email you like this cold, then what's going to happen when they actually get in the room? They're going to probably bother you. There are these actors that if you give them an inch, they take a mile with your time. And we are all very afraid of those actors getting into our lives. And we try to stay very clear of them. And so, my dear John Doe, I forgive you for this email. It would not keep me from calling you into my audition room, but it would for a lot of people. And, it, it, oh, oh, that's a text from my agent. Yay. And uh, it, it will, it's just not the right way to go. You need warm leads warm 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 leads this is not the network this is not we're not looking for closers here this you're not looking for people willing to do like all these cold calls that's not what this is that is not what this is and so i just wanted to start the new year with just asking you guys not to waste time and focus on your warm leads and growing your warm relationships 
Once again, it's a new year and we are sponsored still by We Audition, weaudition.com. Speaking of warm relationships, I had an audition today for this cute little like Hallmark-esque fun audition. I went on We Audition. There's this great gal on there named Katie or Caddy. I should have asked if it was Caddy. I think it's probably Katie, K-A-T-Y. She was so energetic. She was so much fun. We got the audition done in 10 minutes. I tipped her some money for her help and we both walked away happy. She made some money. She got to practice her cold reading skills, which I really didn't need practice. She was phenomenal. I got to do my audition with a great reader. Uh, felt like I instantly kind of made a new friend and new connection on there. And so if Katie came out and emailed me out of the blue, I would love to get an email from Katie if she was like, hey, I loved working with you. I, I would love to work with you in the future. Like, here's my email. Just do something with it if you ever, you know, think of me. And that would that would be a great email. So if you're looking for making connections, We Audition is a great place to start, especially if you're just starting out in the industry, especially if you need a reader, especially if you want to practice your cold read, go on there, cold read for some actors, weaudition.com. Use the promo code HAG25, that's H-A-G-2-5, to get 25% your lifetime, that's right, your lifetime membership. That's H-A-G-2-5, weaudition.com. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys this week. I've got my podcasting equipment set back up. Thanks to an audition. I'm going to be real. I was not motivated to really get back into the podcasting thing until I got a voiceover audition. Now everything's all set back up. And now I feel an overwhelming urge to talk to you guys again. So you'll be seeing some episodes coming soon. Break a leg out there. And remember, you are not alone. Bye.